Hi and welcome to Lake ETV. I am Allie Camp, your host for Lake County. This past week we had the food trucks and we have some footage for your viewing pleasure. Let's go ahead and take a peek. cooler this month so that it makes it a lot more enjoyable. They did a great job setting up tables for everyone so that there's lots of room and the line seems shorter. There seem to be more trucks here. Um, I've got some delicious risotto and duck wings and uh, some hand battered uh, onion rings that uh, are just delicious. So we're having a great time. I'm Bonnie. I'm Steve's wife and this is my company Pop Craft of Central Florida. Um, and we have all homemade gourmet popsicles. These are only about a week old today. And all the flavors are created by a certified wine sommelier, a wine expert. And that's why the flavors are so different, because he looks at them like a, a bottle, a glass of wine, really. And that's why he creates the flavors just like a glass of wine. Wow, I really like it here. I was here last month and I had the lobster roll. It was delicious. So I decided to come back because I heard the Swedish food was really good. And I got yum yum cook cupcakes, so I'm very excited. So I'm going to just come every month just to try something different every time. I'm very excited. This is a great idea. I personally think that the Food Truck Bazaar is uh, great for our town. It boosts the local businesses and it brings in a lot of different cuisine and a lot of things that you don't see. You know, it's a great phenomenon going on right now. So I think it's great for the town. It's awesome. It looked like a great event. I would recommend that you mark your calendar for the third Thursday of the month. On to Eustace, Wednesday at the Wind Horse Theater. Come join the fun with Trey D's Variety Show and dance to the Bon Tempos. The doors open at 6.30 and the cost is only $7. Friday at the Ohm Bookstore, come and enjoy a true Blue Moon Masquerade Ball from the hours of 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. Now this is a party for the indulgence of your mind, body, and soul. But here's the kicker. A mask is required, but a costume is optional. Live entertainment, dancing, and there will be a champagne toast. Reservations are required, so call 978-1181, and there is a cost of $25. Now, for all of you who have forgotten, uh, this upcoming weekend is Labor Day. So, due to the holiday, there will be no First Friday Street Fest. It will occur on September 7th for our Street Fest. This Saturday from the hours of 9 to noon at the Lake May Reserve, there is going to be a topic called limnology. Say what? That's right, limnology. You might ask, well, what is limnology? It is the study below the lake surface. So Lake May is going to present this inner working of their lake. So come on down and um, get some information. But does this mean that uh, we need to bring our goggles or our scuba gear? Inquiry minds want to know. Saturday, as always, we have our Central Florida Dance Club at the Eustis Senior Center. So come enjoy the songs from many years past and relive your young adulthood. Cost is $6, as always, and the time is 7.30 to 10.30. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Umatilla, because Umatilla has been kind of quiet. Well, guess what? They're in hibernation, and I'll tell you why. They're preparing for the Wings and the Wildflowers Festival. So if I were you, I would mark your calendar for this fabulous event, which is going to occur September 29th and 30th. 
Now let's go ahead and move on to Tveri's. We have several events to discuss as well as changes. Did you know that the new hotel is now officially open for business? Or getaways, or you can send your in-laws when you don't want them to stay with you, especially when they visit. Or you might want to check out the new bakery and the natural food store that's now open. So wander on down to the waterfront and see what else is open and the changes that are occurring. You never know week to week. Let's go ahead and talk about something new about uh, tabletop trivia. This Thursday at Easy Nutrition, you know, remember the weight loss challenge that I've undertaken? Well, I am proud to say that I have lost three and a half, how you do, half pounds. Check this out. They are having a lunch tabletop trivia from 12 to 1. Now, I am giving you a personal disclaimer that I am not a spokesperson for Easy Nutrition, but I can tell you those smoothies are very, very delicious and filling. I just had mine probably about 5 or 10 minutes ago, and I'm still full. But go ahead and call Lisa at 742-7000 for further information, and I would like you to tell her that you would like to have a sample of a peanut butter and jelly smoothie. Mm-hmm. Go figure on that one. For those who love karaoke this Thursday, stop over at Cousin Vinny's. And you know what? He's not my cousin, but I guess he's somebody else's cousin. But come out and check out these budding stars. You never know who's watching. You might be the next star at Cousin Vinny's Karaoke. Saturday, Tavares has gone to the dogs once again. It is Pups on the Patio block party. So if you have not had the opportunity to bathe your dog or trim their nails like me, it's time. And it's not too late for you to come on down to Ruby Street and they will cater to your four-legged friend. The fun begins at six. And remember that all proceeds go to rescue organizations. And don't forget, they even have a doggy massage. So maybe if you bark, erf, 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 Maybe they'll give you a little massage. Who knows? But this is Allie Camp. Yep, this is Allie Camp, and this is all she has to report this week for Lakey TV. I would love for you to enjoy your weekend and be safe on this Labor Day weekend. And I am going to sign off. And if I may say, Scotty, please beam me up. Please, now. discussed a fundraiser regarding John. Well, let me tell you what, I have a little bit of footage and it was very interesting, so go ahead and take a peek. Watson and just this past Friday we had an event for John Maysman who's been dealing with a, uh, an illness, a serious illness and we wanted to put together something to honor him, to show him how much we care about him. So myself and a couple of friends, dear friends here in um, my studio space, put together a benefit for John and we had uh, sent out quite a few e-blasts and Facebook blasts and that kind of thing and on Friday night we held a silent auction. We had live music in the courtyard here at the um, Synergy building or Sunset building here in Mount Dora and we had to have had over um, 150 people that came through that night and bid on our lovely donations from many of the local artists here in the area and the local businesses in Mount Dora were so generous and gave such beautiful items that um, the auction was fantastic and we ended up generating a lot of money for John that night. Um, it, the event really, really benefited him greatly and we just, we had a great time and we're also just very grateful for the generosity. Um, that everyone showed and so much love that they showed to John on that night. We had a lot of donations um, again from local businesses. We had 
uh, food from Cody's on 4th and from One Flight Up and the Frog and the Monkey as well as Vitality Bistro here that's um, just recently opened up here in our building. Oh, David Willis performed that evening and it was just, it was such a magical evening in the courtyard. We had tables and white tablecloths set up and people just mingled and it, the weather was great and it was, it was magical, really magical. I think we generated close to 7,000, maybe just under 7,000 that night. Um, the money is still coming in, for which we're grateful. And um, it's, it was just a wonderful, wonderful end to an evening. There is a website set up that introduces you to John and lets you know about what his uh, career has been as a conservator. And that is at uh, www.indiegogo forward slash support John Maisman. And um, it, it just lets you know more about him, who he is, what he's done. And if you weren't able to make it here for that evening, you can still make a donation there on that site. You can see what we've raised so far. You can also opt for a DVD that shows some of his work. He has worked at the Tiffany Museum uh, on the restoration project for the Tiffany Chapel that is installed there now. And uh, so you can opt for one of those. If you make a donation of a certain amount, you can ask for one of those DVDs and we'll make sure we get that to you. We have about, oh, maybe 15 days left on our 30 days worth of um, um, donation time on that website. So please go there and look at it because it's really beautifully done. Let me try again. Oh, I think that was a good dog bark, don't you? I am going to attempt my. Uh, start over. No, just pops on the patio. Box. <laughs> don't start laughing.